I'm Marie from Southern Country Living, and today I'm making a banana split trifle. And you can use a pre-made angel food cake mix, or you can also make your own, or you can use uh, just a regular cake mix like I'm fixing to do, and I'll uh, make this uh, banana split trifle. And uh, so some of the ingredients you can see them over here. But I'm going to start right now by um, making my uh, cake layers. And uh, I hope everyone is having a great day today. It's beautiful right now here in Georgia. It's been changing off and on, but that's the way summertime is. <laughs> it's beautiful right now, but later on we may be having a big thunderstorm. Okay, I'm going to put my cake mix in my bowl. Okay, and I'm going to put three eggs in my bowl, a cup of water, and a third of a cup of oil. I'm going to whip this up. Okay, I have that um, whipped up now. And so uh, this here is a, a glass baking dish that I'm baking mine in. And I usually uh, turn my uh, oven down a little bit when I'm using a, a glass baking dish. I'm going to be cooking my cake mix at 325 for about 25 to 30 minutes. And I've already sprayed it. Like I said, you, the fast and easy way would be to use an angel food um, cake that was pre-made, uh, but uh, I didn't have one today, so this works also. Use what you got. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put this in the oven, and when I come back, We'll start on the rest. You say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me everyone my cake has just cooled off and so I'm gonna put it in my bowl I'm gonna put about a half of it in and like I said you could just if you wanted to do it the fast and easy way you could have just got you a, a angel food cake already prepared but I was going this route today. It almost looks like cornbread. <laughs> Let's see. All right. 
I'm getting a workout here. I think this is about enough right here for the first part of it. Okay, now then I'm going to set this aside right over here for a minute. And I'll put my pudding mixture in here. It seemed to use a, a large one, but our store didn't have one. I'm putting in two. Banana cream uh, pudding mixes. Okay. And I'm going to be putting in three cups of milk. Now, uh, don't put in four <laughs> like the uh, directions on the box say. Put in two cups for each. You don't want to do that. You just want to put in three cups. And just beat this up. And you don't want to let it get real thick either. You want to let it beat it till it's still a little bit creamy. I could use the beater, but it was get everything over here. This is when you need some grandkids in here. banana in this pudding mixture. It smells really good. Okay. Alright. So now I'm going to be putting in my bananas. I'm not sure I get them off. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now then I'm going to put in some strawberries. I'm going to put about half of these in. Crushed pineapple in if you want to, but I put pineapple chunks in. Okay. Okay. So now I'm gonna put in some cool whip.
Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is put in some cherries. Okay, and now I'm going to put on some nuts. So now I'm going to put in some more cake layers. My trifle's getting bigger than my bow, y'all. <laughs> okay, now then, let's see. I'm going to start again with my, my pudding. And it got thick on me, y'all. That's what we didn't want happening. Now then I'm going to put in some more bananas. I almost need my glasses on to do this. <laughs> okay, got that in there. Okay, now I'm going to put in my strawberries. This is getting higher. <laughs> looking awful good. It's looking awful tall, I can say that for it. Oh, that's not going to be a problem, that's just going to be more to eat. <laughs> looking very delicious, Marie. I could have used my big old punch bowl for this. So we got little leaves there, trying to get in the picture. Okay, now then I'll do my pineapple. And you, like I said, you can use crushed pineapple on this. 
if you don't want those big pineapple pieces. Okay, now I'm going to spread this Cool Whip on top. And now, then I'm putting my Cool Whip on top, trying to get it smoothed out here. trifle than I do bow. <laughs> okay, so now then let's um, put some cherries on top. But I think me and Cal can take care of this trifle really good. <laughs> Even if it is overflowing the bow. Put some nuts on it. If you don't like nuts, you don't even have to put them on it if you don't want them. Or cherries. Okay, here's my banana split trifle. It looks really yummy, and I can't wait to uh, dig into this. <laughs> and so, uh, I guess it's time for me to do the taste test. Okay, so now it's time for me to do the taste test. Whoops. That one tried to get away. Okay. Mmm. This is very delicious. <laughs> mm. It tastes just really amazing. And it's well worth the trouble. So, uh, y'all can see I've done took a little den out of it. <laughs> But it's really a pretty old dessert. 
it's really easy to do. You can make your cake um, the night before, and um, and also you can get your angel food cake already made. So uh, I really uh, like this dessert, and I'll be making it again for sure. And I think if y'all make it, y'all really enjoy it too. Okay, y'all yeah, do what you love and love what you do. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.